Ethiopia is set to establish a nuclear technology research center. Now, this is good news coming out uh, from another East African country from the continent. Hello, I am Mahle Tayela, your host at Connect Africa, bringing you the latest from the continent. Now, this news came out today uh, from uh, Ethiopian uh, government in, in, you know, uh, from the parliament. So this is what happened. I'm going to go ahead and share uh, with you uh, the news uh, uh, with you, and I'm going to read some of uh, the highlights uh, from uh, that. Now, this was, of course, revealed, meaning Ethiopia's plan to establish a nuclear science and technology research center in the country with, you know, students being sent to China and Russia for advanced studies in this field, and then later on to uh, to set up that research center. Now, this agreement was done with the Russia's State uh, Atomic Energy Corporation, or known as uh, uh, as Rosatom in uh, its uh, 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 its acronym name. Now, Rosatom is actually it's a known Russian uh, uh, company. Uh, the, the Russian government. Uh, that belongs to Russian government, which has an agreement with just, you know, less than 10 countries in the continent. Now, just to give you a background, since we are giving you this analysis from the African perspective, there are about um, 10 or 9 countries uh, in Africa that are dancing around the nuclear energy plant or setting up a new uh, a nuclear energy plant in the continent or in their respective countries but so far only south africa has this plan and which is also operating so south africa's nuclear power program uh, it has two uh, 970 megawatt nuclear uh, reactors, which started uh, commercial operation in the 1980s, and which out uh, which output accounted for 4.9 percent of the electricity production. Uh, we, this is as of. 2022. Now the others are the South Africa is 970 and it start it started long time ago. And what makes different South Africa from the other African countries who are talking about nuclear energy is that first of all it has it has set it up long time ago. Secondly, it um, its agreement is it was set up by the U.S. the United States uh, firm, not really a Russian one. The, the rest of the countries who are talking about nuclear energy, uh, setting up a nuclear energy in their respective country, their agreement is with Russia's Rosatom, uh, which Ethiopia also has just signed. Now, uh, namely, these African countries are, you have Kenya in East Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, uh, and, uh, and also Rwanda. Uh, the others are, the, there's Nigeria. First, it has announced a false, you know, pl uh, setting up the plant, the nuclear energy plant, but then later on, again, they have corrected it. Then um, you have also Morocco from North Africa, and you have Egypt. Now, Egypt makes it second, second to South Africa. Africa, uh, which it, which is launched during this president time, El Sisi, President El Sisi, uh, and the agreement is again with the Russian government, but it's it has not started the uh, the plant has not started operation. In fact, I don't even think that it's built even. But they have uh, chosen a place uh, for it. Also, the other African countries have chosen a place, uh, Kenya, Rwanda, uh, and Uganda. Some of them even they have announced to plant, you know, uh, to have the plant, the nuclear energy plant, more than one or more than two. Um, now, this is uh, its background when it comes to Africa. But now to give you the detail uh, regarding uh, Ethiopia is that so uh, this news was announced during the 25th regular session of the House of People's Representative Minister 
of innovation and technology. So this is the ministry that is responsible to build or, you know, to, um, uh, to arrange and build and everything uh, this, that has to do with this nuclear um, uh, technology uh, research center. First, they're going to send the students. Now, they said also the interest has been there, but acquiring a foreign currency has been, you know, uh, a hinder uh, for the Ethiopian uh, government. So according to them, this is the Ministry of Innovation and Technology uh, has been actively working to reduce the negative impacts of technologies and has issued licenses for over 2,000 technology materials. Uh, so this is uh, what uh, they said. Now, anyway, um, let us know from in the comment section, what do you think of African countries uh, stepping up their game to set or to establish a nuclear uh, energy uh, plant in their countries? What do you think of, you know, the pros and cons of it? I don't think there is cons uh, or, you know, a negative impact having, you know, having nuclear energy uh, for power. Uh, but what do you think of it? It's a whole dynamic of it. So let us know in the comment section. And how, what will be the react of the West? You know, we all have seen what Iran has gone through. Uh, so let us know in the comment section uh, regarding this. Thanks again uh, for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.